Just a few more weeks, guys, and we will finally be done with NHL 17 and on to NHL 18. Today I want to go over the new hut challenges that EA Sports announced and what that would mean for the game mode going forward. I'm No Sleeves 12, and this is Hut Challenges. So first let's start with what they are. Essentially, if you've ever played uh, Madden, for example, and played Madden Ultimate Team, they are loaded with offline challenges and things that you can do to earn coins instead of just playing against someone. Um, now, for years, NHL has always been just play against an opponent, get coins, open packs, that kind of stuff. This is much different now because so what, what this will allow us to do is open up these specific challenges that we can do that will grant us gold packs or coins um, at a much faster pace than just playing just playing the game, which is totally beneficial to players that aren't necessarily extremely skilled and get kind of discouraged early by getting you know crushed by the better players. So it's definitely something that's worth uh, talking about. All right, so here's what to expect, for at least from what EA Sports has announced. When the game launches, it looks like there's going to be over 140 challenges that you can do by yourself or with your friends. Now, they're broken down into subsections that are going to allow you to choose what, what kind of challenge you want to do. First up is team challenges. I'll read what it says. Progress your way through all the teams in the leagues, like the Ontario Hockey League, Swedish Hockey League, and the NHL, unlocking better teams as you complete challenges. The harder the competition, the better rewards. Three-star challenges. Three-star challenges put you your entire NHL 18 skill set to the test. These hut challenges will be, have objectives that will require you to adjust your play style to complete objectives offensively, defensively, and on the power play and penalty kill. These are going to be more... Um, It'll be start in the first period or in the third period and defend a penalty kill um, kind of things to to unlock the those challenges and finish those. Those are going to be more in-depth ones uh, from, from my guess. Uh, synergy challenges. Complete these hut challenges to earn a player item for each of the hut synergies in the game. My guess is it's going to give you um, a list of things that you need to do. Score three goals in a game, get a shutout, um, score with a defenseman, uh, get 15 hits, those kind of things. And it'll give you a player for each synergy that is in the game, which is very good and beneficial, especially when you consider things like team wheel and stuff like that. Um, now, the one thing I do think that this will bring is saturation, um, where a lot of players will have the guys on these teams but that's okay because at least these can be earned and it's not all just i need to spend a hundred thousand coins in the auction house on day one to get these players the next up is <clears throat> nhl journey challenges um, embark on a journey from the memorial cup all the way to the nhl with your hut team in these hut challenges um from what I would guess is you're going to start on rookie mode in the in the Memorial Cup, work your way all the way through until the NHL when you're um, against the CPU and on you know harder harder difficulties. All star, obviously. Again, these are going to be like score a couple goals or or specific things objectives that you need to complete, and it's going to get much more difficult as you go on. The co-op challenges. This one is what I'm most excited for. It says invite a friend through online or local play and complete these co-op exclusive challenges. Now, these I have no idea what these could include. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be basic ones like win a game or uh, take 15 shots, um, those kinds of things. It's not all going to be just win by 10. Now, the one thing I do want to I want to mention is I think there's going to be a lot of exploitation in this um, when you play with your friends or um, try and load into a game with yourself with your with your buddies like say you live in the same city so you're you're on the east coast or you're gonna ping off each other um if you if you spend enough time trying to queue up at the same time to get get your opponents i have a feeling that there's going to be a way where you can just have your have your buddy pull his goalie in a hut challenge game and then just get every single challenge done now i don't know for sure but that's just my guess from playing other games so I do need to mention that when you do play with your friend through some of these challenges, EA did already state that whoever is the one inviting your buddy, uh, that's going to be the account that actually gets the rewards through the challenge. It, it won't be you both, which is kind of a letdown, but I think it is, again, just trying to stop people from uh, glitching the system. 
So guys, here's an example, Dominator. It's on pro difficulty, and you're going to see the challenges in each in, in down below. You're going to see win by two goals, take 10 more shots than your opponent, and have one minute of time on attack. If you can complete all three of those, you're going to see the objective rewards down below. So for all completing all three, you get a gold pack, and I'm going to assume that you get the 500 and 1,000 for completing all three. So it's extremely beneficial to sit and hunt and play this as opposed to doing games consistently and grinding games to get a, a thousand coins every win. Um, this is going to be a, a very, very well done game mode, I believe now, um, with the inclusion of Hut Challenges. So guys, Hut Challenges does look like it's going to be a great addition to the game mode. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'm No Sleeves 12 Stay average.